Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at solving a, a quadratic. So let's say we've got an equation that's looking like this, where we've got 3x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 60. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing this. All right, so the first method I'm going to show you is through the equation mode, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in the graph mode as well. So with the equation mode, you have to do a little bit of rearrangement. Okay, so you need to rewrite this as 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, and when your 60 moves across, you've got minus 60 equals 0. So what you end up with is 3x squared minus 2x minus 56 equals to 0. So what you want to be doing is you want to click on menu and go into equation. So menu and then go into equation. Now when you go into equation, what's going to happen is you are going to end up with this menu here. So, lights. so what you want to do is you want to press F2 to actually say that you want to work with a polynomial. All right, And here it's going to ask you for degree. Now you want to use degree as 2 because what it's really asking you is, okay, what's the biggest power that you have for x? That's what it means by, by degree. So if you have a look at this equation, you've got x and then you've got x squared. All right, so that number 2 is what the degree is, the highest degree. So in this case, I'm going to 2. Now it's asking me for the values for a, b, and c. Now the values for a, b, and c are here. So a, b, and c. So when you press a as you got a as 3, b as minus 2, and c as minus 56. So you press enter and press enter again. Now what you have is you've actually got two solutions for x. All right, so x is equal to two solutions. Your first one is negative 4, and your second one is 4.66 uh, recurring. Now, of course, the good thing about solving it this way is you're actually given this in a, in a factor format. So 14 over 3 is um, just another way of writing your answer. Okay, so this is using a um, using the equation um, mode. I'm going to show you how to do it in graphs mode as well. So to do it in graphs mode, you want to press menu, go into graph, and put in your equation. So y1 equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And the second one, put down y equals to 60. All right, so at this point, you've got your two equations. And when you press draw, well, I mean, you might actually see a completely different thing in your calculator. All right, so what's good is you might want to just adjust um, your uh, view window. So when I press F3, um, I like to work with that initial one, so the first one. Can I see anything? Obviously not. Uh, let me try something else. Now, this is, this is here's the interesting part. All right, so when I draw it, all right, I have pressed view window and I click on I and IT, so that's the initial um, view kind of thing. When I press enter and enter, I don't really see my two graphs. And that, the reason behind it is because these two, if you, if you can imagine it, y equals to 60, so that's 1, 2, and 3. So 60 is like way, way above here. So you can actually zoom out if you want, or, um, zoom out if you want and try and see if it's there. There you kind of start seeing it. But the other thing that you can do is you can actually press G solve. G solve, when you press it, it's going to give you a few little options here. And you're looking for ISCT, which stands for intersection. So when you click on it, it's actually giving you your first intersection. So x equals negative 4. Now see how we got x equals negative 4 here? That's our first intersection. So our next intersection, if you press left or right, it should take you to your next intersection, which is at 4.667. And that's what our second point was. All right, so you want to move right to find the, um, as x value is getting bigger. So I'm just kind of double checking, see if there's any more. Okay, I'm pressing and nothing's happening. But if I press left, it kind of tracks it down to x equals to negative 4 and 60. Cool, so that's how you solve a um, quadratic equation in the graphics calculator, guys. So you can use the graphs mode or you could use uh, the equation mode. Cool. Thank you for watching.